Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. Oh, the temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine, come back and explain yourself. You think I taught this spoiled brat how to wield a weapon? And now he's throwing beasts at us. Strong man. He's the only explanation. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. But I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. 
I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Mielfrichtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet and find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Norts. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Buren. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. Carantz, could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral, and I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Alas. Oh, anything else? I must leave you. What brings you here on Omanawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasach used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devosh Tire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichtemann warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I intend to go and find the other factions and ask for their support. But I also need your people. Because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantin had done. He is an intelligent man. He must have guessed the purpose of our visit before we even spoke to him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tiafredi couldn't have a better High King. Desarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, Desarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. 
If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. Alas, even if I wanted to, I couldn't send you my men. They don't trust you enough to follow you and fight on land. Could there be a way to make them change their mind? Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Very well. I will do my best. Even though time is running out. I expect nothing less of you. See you later, Desarde. Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the Merchant Congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Albert. A committed volunteer from Telemi. Uh, she only joined us a short time ago. Did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. Did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy. What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Uh, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. I have the feeling that what aroused your suspicions most is the fact that she was a volunteer. You must understand that volunteers are very rare, especially from Telemi. Their beliefs are quite contrary to our philosophy. Did you want to know anything else? That'll... Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew, Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. 
until we arrived here. She suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Sm None of this helps us. They all told us pretty much the same thing. She changed her behavior when she arrived here. Perhaps this is a sign, or perhaps not. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Fighting. We oh, can't no, let them get away with it. More. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Hey, you are guests here. Behave appropriately. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see our tough call? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. I'd prefer not to get involved in drunken quarrels. No good tends to come from it. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <laughs> On guard! Oh, to my... ah! Ah! And death to the other! What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Nothing, thanks. Hello, Your Excellency. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. Change your tone, soldier. You're speaking to the legate of the congregation. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I didn't know. How may I help you? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. 
She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the noughts, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but... Maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. We can hide in these bushes and wait for someone to come. We can see everything from here. If someone comes, we can't miss them. Well, what should we do? Shall we wait here? Someone is coming. He's just a messenger, but we should follow him. Please, sire! I surrender! Soldier, we saw you retrieving documents from the dead drop. What of it? I'm carrying out the mission I was paid to do. Nothing more. Soldier, what is your mission and who gave it to you? Uh, Captain, I'm sorry, but I cannot answer that. This is an order, soldier. Yes, Captain. A man from the Alliance pays me to come here every two days to retrieve the contents of this box. I have to collect the messages without looking at them and take them to the meeting point. Who is this man? No idea. He did not want to give me his name and I did not insist. As long as I get paid, that's all that matters. And where is the meeting place? It depends. He leaves me a note at the tavern with the location. And here, this is the one for tonight. Listen, this was just a little bit of extra coin for me. I'd really appreciate it if the quartermaster didn't know about it. I won't say a thing. Give me what was in there and go. Here. 
Goodbye, Your Excellency. Don't move, sir. What do you want from me? Your messenger's not coming. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I, I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Telemi. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. who gave us information when they had problems with the Inquisition. Do you remember him? Yes, I remember Fernando. Let's go and see him. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young Nort named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Thanks. Excellency, what fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young Nort who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. He wanted to take her back to the convent. 
She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern, so maybe that's where you'll find him. I must leave you. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba? What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara. And yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near... Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. A missionary camp near a village whose name begins with Wedge. The village of Katasak had a similar name, and there were missionaries nearby. That's it. Let's go. Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth.
Let me. Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm dying. I don't care. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? These Inquisitors are worse than the guard. This one must be the famous Manhunter. He's questioning this man to find out where she is. This madman will eventually torture this poor person to death. We must intervene. You're right. Let's go. Hey! Who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. And I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt, you will regret to it. To my help! And death to the others! Let's free this poor man. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. You are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your... notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. No, 
You will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Stop! You have won! Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. Strange. This child's only fear is that we take her back to her father. No hint of betrayal. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then, why are you here? We know you betrayed the Noughts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Noughts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors. And I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. This captain accused this young woman and used us to make her flee. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So... Are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Admiral, did you think any more about my Alliance proposal? Indeed. You have given me reasons to reconsider. And you earn the trust of my men. They will be by your side when it's time to fight this battle. Thank you, Admiral. Day. What can I do for you? What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... Uh, troubled. 
The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him. And runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first. But when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knot. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? Mm. Between you and me, I preferred Captain Vasco. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. If he's a loner, would make sense he needs some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. It's because I'm the sweetest. <laughs> Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. This man is a complete traitor. Bitter, dissatisfied, and anxious. We should follow him tonight. He may finally lead us to some solid proof. We can see...
Here is the traitor caught in the act. Shall we arrest him? We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. Let's put the message back where we found it. Better no one knows we read it. We should report it to the Admiral. Let's go. Desarde, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting just Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. Men of the coin. I can't believe it. What schemes have we gotten mixed up with again? The wretched traitor. How dare he discuss the lawless mercenaries. To my help! And death to the <laughs> This traitor got what he deserved. You're injured. You need care. It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Disgusting that someone could accept a deal like that. And we are surprised that some officers are not respected. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Desarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. 
So he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The Captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the Volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? I need to be going. 